Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. That's a Cheeto dust on my hands. I was eating some Cheetos because as you can see, I'm laid up in the bed. Um, it's not gonna be no cutesy makeup video today. I was getting ready to film it for the week because as you guys know from my last vlog, I've been working. So, you know, I didn't really have time to film any makeup look in the week because I've been coming home tired and whatnot so i was gonna film it today but then i got on facebook for a second and uh a friend of mine was brutalized by the police so instead of me doing makeup because it put me in a foul mood um we're just gonna talk today we're gonna talk so stick around <laughs> Excuse the entirety of my bed if you guys see it because um my boyfriend was washing today so our pillowcases are in the wash because he washes love that man um he was washing and then got back and is in there cooking right now um but yeah um today was pretty much a business day i did a lot of running i actually had just got in the door myself um uh, before i went facebook scouting but um yeah i went to the grocery store i was gonna do a grocery haul for you guys but we're in a heat wave right now it's like 113 degrees so i was just trying to get the hell in and the hell out <laughs> and home as soon as possible so yeah i ended up going to get my groceries got me some sushi which is why well, i have cheeto fingers because i was eating sushi and cheetos even though my boo is in there cooking right now hopefully i'll still have an appetite <laughs> when he uh comes here and be like the food's done but either way like even if i don't he already knows how i'm i am so i'll either like eat tomorrow eat it tomorrow or i don't know some late night snacking because i've been doing that a lot i need to stop but yeah i just put me in a bad spirit when i saw that because i the i recognized the cop's name so i'm pretty sure the cop that just did all that to her is the same one that pulled me over probably like a month ago uh, about my back lights, which my back lights were working because I had just, you know, brought my car from a mechanic and then all of a sudden uh, he's talking to me and there's like four of the car cops on the side of my car, flashlights in my car because it was nighttime um, in my case. But just thinking about it and thinking about the fact that like this just happens to people every day for no reason. And then we have a straight up racist person in office who like is so out there that during a presidential debate will not even renounce you know racist groups kkk you know whatever you want to call it i'm not you know a very political person and i don't really get into politics too often but it's just absolutely crazy this world as my grandma was saying is going to hell in a handbasket like we got a racist crazy person sitting up there as president like I consider myself a Democrat, but, like, I don't know. My spirit was just vexed watching our presidential campaign, you know, the the debate. Because it was just two old men going back and forth with ridiculousness. Like, it's crazy. That's what our world has come to. And it just makes me sad because it, it, it makes it feel like there's just never going to be any change even if we get a democrat in there some things will change you know for the good but it's basically i think for a lot of democrats because myself like i'm a whole felon i've never kept that a secret so i can't vote and at this point you know i'm just watching it and hearing about it every day because my my boyfriend is very into politics like i told you guys in one of my videos that man loves his news uh he he keeps up on everything and you know He's always 
in the know about what's going on, which is another thing that I love about him. Sometimes, sometimes I'm not gonna lie, it's a stressor when I'm like trying to like hide from the world and politics and just social media and anything that's not connected to this household and just be in a bubble for like a couple days. But like, so sometimes it does, you know, it does get a little bit irritating that he's like that. But in the same breath, like he's in the know. Gotta love that. But it's just like, what is this world coming to? Like, we're just openly racist, openly just stupid. <laughs> and it's it's crazy, like, and especially like for people like in my situation or even worse off situations being like, I got a record over some stuff I didn't even do. And I'm still dealing with the consequences of that because as of right now, I'm still very much on, you know, paperwork probation. And so it just makes me leery like the people that are supposed to make us safe are the ones hurting us and the ones attacking us. Like if you can't call the police when you need help to do what they're designed to do, which is to help you, then who the hell can you call? Like, wow, like I call you and you beat me and brutalize me and do everything but what your job title is because of this. Like, it doesn't make sense to me. It's never made sense to me. I don't understand it. It's very discouraging. Like, there's been a part of me that has always thought, like, okay, Jeannie, you know, once you get off paperwork, you won't care no more. You won't be so antsy, like, every time you see the police. Or, like, because in the situation with my ex, um, my ex-husband, like, I've told you guys, using the police because I'm on paperwork and I'm not supposed to even have police contact really, but using them to terrorize me basically every time something's not going his way. And so like I get out of that and I think, okay, now that he's out of my life and I don't have to deal with this shit no more of him lying all the damn time, calling police when there's no actual reason to call police just so that it could put that fear in me or so that I could have that fear because I'm on paperwork. Or even maybe even have a consequence because these cops are so fucking crazy uh, that they just don't care. Which is another reason why I know that marriage was not going to last. Because anybody that could keep putting me in that situation where you know what's going on in the world. You know how they treat us. We're already a target and then you're fucking giving them ammo in my life. Like you don't love me and you don't have no concern for me. So that's that. But like... I always thought, you know, now that he's out of my life and once I get off of paperwork, like, you know, I always thought my thinking would change. Like, okay, I won't be so uncomfortable around police anymore because they won't have a reason, not a real reason, like a legal reason uh, that I'm on paperwork to target me. But then today when my friend, you know, posted what she posed, it just brought all that back. Like, well, shit, doesn't matter. If you're not on paperwork, it doesn't matter if you're not even a damn criminal. Like, they're out for us. Like, this shit is really real. There's just going to never be a time where we're going to feel, I'm going to feel safe. Like, and I think, like, a lot of people, well, I won't say a lot of people. I'll speak for myself. I think, like, in my case, like, I just gave myself this falsity of hope that, like, oh, once this paperwork is over... I won't be have to be scared of them anymore because they won't see me as a threat. And today, just open up my fucking eyes. Like, they're going to see you as a threat. As long as you have this color skin, you're a threat. And you're going to be th- treated as a threat. And you're going to be treated unhuman. And, and I don't know. It just makes me so very sad on the inside. Like, it's 2020. This type of shit shouldn't even still be going on. But this is what you get. Like... Not to blame everything on Trump because everything is not Trump's fault. Like, all racism didn't fucking come from Trump. But he doesn't help the situation because when you have somebody sitting in office that's openly fucking racist, the racists are, you know, going to have a field day. And it's already bad without the HNIC being one and, you know, okay in your behavior. It's already bad. But now you've got the HNIC being like, oh, it's okay. They gonna wild. These white boys is gonna wild. So I'm just like, I don't know. In that phase right now of feeling hopeless. Like, this is like, is it ever gonna stop? Are they ever gonna stop shooting us in the back? 
<laughs> how many more Breonna Taylors, how many more um, Floyds are there going to be before this shit comes to an end? Or are they just going to kill us all? Like, so I, I assume that's your intention. Like, you're going to kill everybody? Because newsflash, there kind of isn't a true right race anymore anyway. Everybody's mixing with every fucking body. So, if it's not already gone, it's going very soon. Like, and so you're doing this for what? Like, it it doesn't make sense to me. Like, I've never been a person (laughs) that, like, even cared about the color of somebody's skin. It's absolutely crazy to me. And we're just in a world that is not safe at all. And that's what makes me worry. Even though my kids are not in my custody, that's what makes me worry. Because this world is crazy. Hey, baby. (laughs) Oh, I was making a video about all this craziness and pro- police brutality. You got anything you want to add? Oh, man. It's, it, what more can I add? You see it, you, you see it for yourself. You see it for yourself every day. It's bullshit. It's being beyond bullshit. Just going to have to ride it out. Like I said, you know, keep plugging. Hope we get to the other side. Not as army yet. Man. But, yeah. Um... Not much more I could say for that, but like, y'all need to get out and vote. Need to get out and vote. Protest. Keep doing that. Peacefully, not niggardly, where you're just busting up stuff and acting crazy, which I'm not saying that everybody wants do, everybody's doing that, so don't come for me for that, but peacefully protesting as much as possible because you already know how they're looking at us anyway, so... They don't need more reason to be like, oh, you know, they can't even protest peacefully. Because the truth is, I'll be with y'all. Like, if it comes down to burning some shit down, because no, we ain't our ancestors. Uh, But I mean, if it can be done peacefully, I would have to condone doing stuff peacefully until it gets to a point where it needs to get rowdy. But yeah, keep protesting. Definitely vote. <laughs> uh, vote, vote, vote. Because the ones of you that can, because your opinions matter. I don't know. At this point, all I can say, <laughs> my opinion is just like the lesser of two evils. Because I don't know. Like I said, both of these peop- both of these men were just acting like big babies on a presidential debate. But. It is what it is. That's that's your choices. So, I don't know. Like, that's all I have to say. Um, there will be a, probably a makeup related video up next week. Uh, if not, then it'll be some boyfriend material. <laughs> uh, but probably, most likely, makeup. Um... I do have a lot on my workload this week, so, yeah. I probably, when I calm down and get out of my feelings, will sit down and film something, which will be up next week. But I just wasn't feeling it today at all. At all. And to my friend, Shy, I'm sorry that that happened to you. You know, you're always in my fr- in my prayers and love you. And I love, you know, all my black community. Mm. And that's it. Like, I'm not hating on no other race before somebody tries to say, oh, well, you know, you, you say you love your black community, but what about the others? Like, we're not talking about children right now. I hate no one. So you can miss me with all that. But, um, yeah, till the next video, deuces.